Okay, let me tell you what I've decided to do as far as the servo installation for the spoilers. I'm using the same servos as called for in the plans, and that would be the HS85 ball bearing servos. Um, as far as the rudder and the elevator, I'll be using the HS5085 MGs, uh, obviously high-tech servos. I think everybody who bought these high-tech servos know they come with these little mounting brackets, um, so you can actually mount them sideways. I think the reason most people haven't used them is because the floor of the servos tray for the servo to ride on is kind of thin to begin with and it's made of balsa obviously. Um, what I was lucky enough to have is some 2 millimeter thick by 4 millimeter wide pan head screws that are going to work great for this process. Um, so what I did was is I ground down these mounting brackets to where you can see on this side I haven't ground down and this side I have to where it's sitting flat and flush on the bottom floor of the servo tray but it's no longer going to stick above the servo itself it's still and you know, we haven't lost any uh, grip there so it hasn't changed anything uh, to to make the floor of the servo a little thicker what I've done is I've added a 64th inch piece of balsa wood so this is going in first and basically the servo is going to sit like this. And that's doubling or giving me enough thickness to where I can put the screws in safely. But I'm not raising the servo up so high that it's interfering with the functioning of the, of the uh, spoilers themselves. So I hope that makes sense. The other process that I have to do obviously is I have to find a way to raise the servo um, and there was a supplied um, piece of G10 to cut out to make kind of a, a servo mount or a servo arm to raise the servo and lower the servo. I just decided to change that a little bit. And what I'm using is a piece of uh, four millimeter solid carbon rod. And what I've done is I've cut a little piece off for the top and this is where the servo is actually going to ride on that rod. And I've cut myself a rod that's roughly an inch and a quarter long and I've split it down the side with a uh, with a uh, um, Dremel tool. After I did that what I did is I mounted that split part onto my servo arm with epoxy in that fashion okay and then I mounted, glued on the top piece for this to ride on. All right. So that's how I decided to do it. It worked out really well. I think it looks really cool. Let me kind of show you over here how this thing functions. And uh, like I said, I thought it worked out pretty well. I got it on a servo tester, so we'll just give it a shot and see what happens. Okay, and there I'm at full 90 degree deflection. So, I'm very good. So that's riding really nice and smooth. I don't have anything to close these yet, so I don't think it's gonna close all the way down. But um, That's what I decided to do. And like I said, if you look inside, you can see the mounts. And uh, just screwed in. And I put that little piece of uh, plywood underneath to raise it up, but it's not interfering with the works. And uh, pretty happy with how that's working. Okay, guys. See you in a minute.